All right, guys. So I'm going to talk today about um, a new website that I just learned about called Inkle Writer. You go on Google, type in Inkle Writer, search bar. You know, the first thing that comes up, you'll see that it's a part of Inkle Studios, which is a company that makes a lot of um, software for creating video games. Now they've come up with this new program called Inkle Writer, which is a program for uh, creating interactive stories. Um, so if you don't know what an interactive story is, an interactive story is a lot like um, if you remember as a kid possibly reading a choose your own adventure story or even the Goosebumps series had a few where you could choose your own ending so you would get to the end of the book and then you had a di couple different options of which page you would turn to um, to tell you what the ending was so there would be different kinds of endings for each choice um, and there, there's these books are very popular especially with younger kids but I think it's a great way to get uh, kids interested in reading especially kids who uh, might not uh, really have a liking for reading yet um, to sort of get them interested because what happens with these interactive stories is that you have sort of a choice and you're a decision maker when you're reading so you have a, a lot bigger of a hand in the interaction with the story and no longer you're just a passive reader you're actually interacting with the text which uh, creates uh, new levels of engagement I feel like for um, many readers so the cool thing about Inkle Writer is that you can read stories on here so you can read a lot of different interactive stories but you can also create your own so uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, what I did when I got on the site before I even watched the little tutorial about how to create stories I wanted to just read more and see what it was like so so here we are with this story that they have programmed for you that they created um, it's an old uh, Sherlock Holmes story by uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and they turn it into a sort of choose your own uh, adventure story so you start off part one you can start reading the story and then when you get to the end of the first page <clears throat> you have options so these are this is uh, what the characters will be saying so you want the characters to say this or say this it's your choice so you choose one and then you go on and you'll notice um, this is the story continues on but you'll notice if you go back start again if we were to choose the other option the story changes a little bit so the texture reading changes depends depending on which option you choose. So this goes on for a while so you can actually end up with a lot of different paths that your story can take. Um, this one I noticed the reading through most of it that a lot of it is um, just two choices <coughs> but you can add as many options as you want as we'll see a little bit later when I show you how to actually put one of these together. So this is kind of the basis for what an inter uh, interactive story looks like. It's very much uh, reminiscent to the internet and the fact that uh, there's a lot of different threads that you can follow to find out different stories. It, it reminds me almost of being on Wikipedia and clicking on uh, a hyperlink that takes you to another page and reading on until you click on something that takes you to another page. Uh, it's sort of that same idea of hyperlinks and sort of uh, the maze that is created on the internet. So that happens within these books, which I think is really cool. All right, so what I want to do now is show you a little bit about how Writer works when you're actually creating. So interesting thing about uh, Inkle Writer that I think is great for using in school with students is that you do not need to sign up and it's also 100% uh, free so you can use it with students you don't need a um, email or any uh, other information to get started you can... so you click on this <coughs> and here I have a story uh, a very simple story started already just to show you a little bit how it works so here I type in the first part of my story once upon a time I I walked outside and saw, and then I'm going to have options. So uh, I added these options, and you can add as many more options as you want. Like you can add another uh, something random. So uh, you can click on one of these, and then write what would happen after you click on that. So after you click on that, you saw an asteroid. You can continue your story from there. Um, after you write something in here, like for example, you can add an option. Say we could we could even put in here what the main character would scream, or we could join this to an existing paragraph so that <clears throat> it takes you back to somewhere else earlier in the story. Uh, you'll see a little bit of how that works when I show you a uh, full fledged example that I had made up. So here we go. I'm thinking this it would be a great idea for teachers to use. So say you were giving, uh, maybe you're going to teach the novel uh, 
uh, Slaughterhouse Five in the English class. And you want to give an overview of Kurt Vonnegut, the author. <clears throat> Instead of just passing out notes, uh, letting the students read about some information about the author, you could use this, do it in a presentation, or let uh, each student sort of use it on their own, which I think is the best. So that each uh, student was at a computer, and they could explore this little program on their own to learn as much. So <clears throat> you can read the beginning here, and you can uh, go to the options of what did he write, why do I care, can we just read something he wrote. So this is the shortest link that I have. So it takes you right to this answer, which is, I'm going to give them a link right to the short story Harrison Bergeron so that they can, if that's the first thing they want to do before reading about them, they want to actually read something that they wrote, then they can take this, copy this, and just paste it into their browser. And that'll take you to a short story by Kurt Vonnegut. And then <clears throat> whenever you're reading it, you can also go in, as long as you're the editor, you can go in and start writing right from that point, which is really nice. You can uh, see what your story looks like as you're writing. So if I could click this, I would go right to this part in the editing stage, and I could add more um, links to this sort of chain. So let's go back to the beginning. And what did we write? And then we have two options here. Continues to give you more information. Um, here you see I did one of these things where it links you back to the beginning. So I, you ask, what did he write? He says this, and okay, so what else? It talks a little bit more about what he's written and about Harrison Bergeron, and then takes you back to the beginning so that you can uh, explore some of the other options so that you know that you didn't exhaust everything you can learn about this subject. Now we're back here. We can click on why do I care, <clears throat> read about that, read about his book, Science of Titan, and I actually added a picture of it because it's really easy to add pictures. And you know that link because all you need to do is um, put in the web address for the picture and then it'll put it right there for you. When you click on this again, we go back to the beginning so that we sort of create this loop so that once you <clears throat> understand all of the information that is on one path, you can go back to the beginning and follow the other paths. And then again, you'll go back to this Harrison Bergeron, which was talked about earlier in one of the other sections as well, so it'll relate to this. Um, lots of different options here. Uh, and then you can actually go back from each step with one of these arrows. So you get to this arrow, you can shrink it back so you can see what options we have here. So here's another set of options um, where I talk about sort of his humor, some of his quotations, and then here you go to the interview. And again, you can do another copy and paste, and this takes you to an interview that Kurt Vonnegut did with uh, the Paris Review. So lots of different options for this. I think this would be a great teaching tool. Uh, especially if you want students to sort of learn some of the le learn some of the lesson that you might be lecturing instead of uh, lecturing or just giving out notes, you could do this instead. I think that would be a really uh, neat tool. So, <clears throat> going back to the main page, a couple other things I wanted to point out about Inkle Writer is the possibility to publish. So every time you make something on Inkle Writer, you can publish it as an ebook, and this is a free thing that you can do. You won't make money for publishing it as an ebook um, unless you have a publisher like Dave Morris, who published Frankenstein as an app for iPhone and iPad. And you can also get it on um, things like Kindle and uh, the Kindle Fire and other products like that. So you can actually read his book, which is um, an actual published novel. However, you can publish anything that you make as just an ebook that other people can download as an app or they can download it on their any other device. So. It's a really cool way to share your work and to uh, give students an outlet for publishing their creative work. Even if it isn't necessarily creative, say they did a project uh, like I had done on Kurt Vonnegut, maybe they chose an author and did sort of an interactive project on that. They can also share that with their friends, uh, with their family, with anyone else in school, with the class, with other teachers by just copying the link to the book. and um, Or you could download it, of course, as I said, through the publishing software. So I think that's really good to give students a venue for the things that they create. So it makes it uh, a little bit more meaningful and a little bit more authentic so that what they're doing isn't only being viewed by the teacher and then being uh, you know, done away with or handed back to them and they'll never look at it again. It, it makes it a little bit more real and uh, viewable by other people. So maybe they'll feel a little bit more inspired to do uh, either a better job or to take pride in their work. So. I think that's uh, that can only that can only be positive. So 
it's also cool that this site is new and growing and changing. This all this stuff is fairly new, so they are constantly updating things and getting feedback from their users so that they're making the best product that they can. So it's good to keep up with that and see what is changing with this product as it becomes more popular. Uh, the last thing I wanted to point out that I found on the main page here is this uh, Future Voices anthology. Great, <clears throat> another way to encourage students to publish the work that they do to give them a little bit more meaning uh, behind trying creative writing is that you can submit stuff, uh, submit your short interactive stories here to this anthology that will actually be published when they uh, judge everything and then the winning stories will be published in this anthology. So lots of really different cool uh, things going on here with Inkle Writer. I'm actually really got, glad I got the chance to take a look at it and I'm already uh, thinking about how I can use it in my classroom with my students. Um, so I hope this was helpful and let me know if you have any questions. I'll actually be posting a link to the little Inkle Writer that I did for um, for Kurt Vonnegut uh, just in case anyone else is interested in looking at that or um, finding out how that works. So uh, thanks again for listening.